Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we take shockingly weird questions and deliver electrifying answers. Today's hair-raising topic comes from one of our most plugged-in viewers, Zappy McZapface88. Thanks for sparking this one, Zappy. You asked, why don't high-voltage power line maintenance workers get electrocuted? At first glance, it looks like sorcery. There's a person casually chilling on a wire, carrying enough voltage to power a spaceship, and somehow they're not instantly vaporized. Magic? Alien tech? Nope. Just good old physics and clever engineering. So let's dive into this electric mystery without blowing a fuse. Right here on Explaining Everything. First off, let's talk about what we mean by high voltage. We're not talking about sticking a fork in a toaster. Please don't do that. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of volts surging through those massive transmission lines. These are the granddaddies of electricity. So powerful, even looking at them wrong makes your hair stand up. So the idea of someone just grabbing one seems, well, crazy, right? Well, welcome to the wild world of live line maintenance, where daring professionals perform electrical surgery on live wires while somehow staying very much alive. So, what's their secret? Spoiler, it's not a magic cloak or rubber chicken, it's science. To understand how they survive this electric ballet, we need to get nerdy for a second. Let's talk electric current. Electricity only flows when there's a path from high voltage to low voltage, like from a wire to the ground. This is why birds can chill on power lines all day and not get roasted. They're not giving the electricity a place to go. No path, no zap. And guess what? Human power line workers do the same thing. They're like brilliant, well-trained birds with tools and insurance. Here's where it gets wild. These workers become the same electrical potential as the power line. That means they're charged up to the same voltage as the line they're working on sometimes hundreds of thousands of volts. And no, they don't just lick the wire to get there. They either fly up in a helicopter or use a special insulated bucket truck to get close to the line. Then, using a long insulated rod called a hot stick, which sounds like a rejected name for a boy band, they slowly touch the line. This equalizes their voltage with the line. There's a brief, controlled zap, kind of like an electric handshake. After that, they're one with the wire. No current flows through them because there's nowhere for it to go. It's like standing in a pool with water that's all the same temperature. Nothing changes, so you don't notice it. Why high voltage is less dangerous than you think sometimes. Here's a twist. High voltage alone doesn't kill you. It's current, the flow of electricity, that's dangerous. A shock of just 0.1 amps, that's a tenth of an amp, passing through your heart can be fatal. But a bird sitting on a 500,000 volt line doesn't die because there's no current flowing through it. Voltage is the potential, like water behind a dam. Current is the actual water rushing through the pipe. So, unless there's a complete path, like from wire to ground, there's no flow and no electrocution. Still wouldn't recommend testing this with a kite and rubber gloves. Now let's be clear. 
This is not a just wing it situation. These workers wear crazy intense safety gear. We're talking full body conductive suits, rubber gloves and boots that make them look like futuristic electricians from space. Plus, the tools they use are designed to keep them far away from any accidental grounding. Because the moment they give electricity a path to the Earth, boom! Human microwave dinner. They also go through intense training, simulations, and regularly have safety drills. These aren't adrenaline junkies. They're highly skilled professionals who know exactly what they're doing. So no, you can't just try this at home with a ladder and a pair of kitchen tongs. Please don't. Seriously. Yes, some line workers do this from a helicopter because climbing deadly poles wasn't dramatic enough. The helicopter itself is insulated and the worker steps out onto a little platform and uses a hot stick to slowly touch the power line. Once they're voltage buddies with the wire, they can go to work. At this point, the helicopter, the worker and the line are all at the same high voltage, so no current flows between them. The only thing flowing is pure guts and caffeine. Honestly, these folks deserve medals, raises, and probably a Netflix series. Let's bust a few myths while we're here. They don't get shocked because they wear rubber boots. Nah, regular rubber boots won't stop 500,000 volts. That's like putting on flip-flops during a lava flood. They're grounded to the helicopter. Nope, that would be deadly. The whole goal is not to be grounded. Being grounded is what causes electrocution in the first place. Electricity doesn't like people. Oh, it does. It loves people, especially when they give it a free ride to the ground. The trick is not giving it that ride. These high-flying, high-voltage heroes help us keep the lights on, literally. Power lines carry electricity across vast distances, and they can't just shut everything off every time maintenance is needed. That's where live line workers come in. They do the dangerous jobs, in the air, under pressure, in all kinds of weather, so the rest of us can binge TV, charge our phones, and microwave leftovers without a second thought. It's easy to take all this for granted. But next time you see a helicopter hovering near a power line, give a little nod to the people dangling in the sky, quietly preventing the next blackout. So there you have it, the shocking truth behind why high voltage maintenance workers don't get electrocuted. It's not luck, it's physics, preparation, and some incredibly brave people who are just really, really good at staying grounded. Figuratively, not literally. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go apologize to every bird I judged for sitting on wires like a daredevil. See you next time for more everyday mysteries made hilariously clear. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on explaining everything.